Welcome to the How To Magic for Flipped Out. You received a little card with some magician's wax on it and two cool magnets, a larger one and a small one. And take a very little piece of the magician's wax and apply it to one side of the big magnet and place it on the center of one of the cards. Now I choose a specific deck that I want to keep this set up. So I only use this one deck of cards for this great effect and then I go on to something else. So it's always set up. And I take a few cards off of the deck, uh, like two or four cards, so that once the magnets are on the cards, it still will go in and out of the deck quite easily. And I never have to reset it. So I take a very small piece of wax, put it on one of the big side of the magnet, and then I make sure that these are not to where the magnets are sucking down on each other but pushing away and I'll take the other magnet and place it onto a, a face card. I use a face card so there's more activity going on when the magnet is on the card. It's much harder to see because it has a pattern there instead of just the seeing the magnet by itself on the card. And it's easy to do. You just place that magnet on the center of the card where you're going to a duplicate card where you have it and then take a little pair of scissors and cut around that circle and you'll get a perfect little piece out to a duplicate to put it exactly in the center where you want it to sit where it's going to look exactly like it would if the magnet wasn't there so you can see I have that on the center of the jack of hearts here. Alright, so I have the, the, the magnets going in opposite directions, so they're pushing each other away from each other when they're going toward each other. And I put this big magnet on the bottom, and I can just have the other magnet on the top of the deck and placed into the deck of cards, and I'm ready to perform the trick. I just used a little two-way double-sided tape to put the magnet, uh, the duplicate card piece onto the magnet, and the magnet onto the card is using just a very small amount of magician's wax. Okay, so I can pull the cards out to keep it concealed. I will have them pick a card, tell me when to stop. They say stop. I just pull the card off the top. Tell, asking them to remember that card, and now we're going to remember the Jack of Hearts. So I have that on there. My little piece of wax is getting old on the here, so it's come came off there. Okay. Now, once I have that. on there when I want it, this will flip over whenever I want and also just by holding the cards, all my fingers are on the bottom and if I put my thumb on the top in the right place that card will levitate up perfectly and not come off and you can try it in both hands and see which hand is the easiest for you to do you can have a spectator come place their hand on top of it bring the deck of cards away from their hand and the card will eerily ear levitate up into their hand which is very cool. And then you say, not only will it levitate, but as you hold the card, the thumb on one side, three fingers on the other, releasing all this together, the card will flip. And hopefully it flips right over. And you can try it from the other hand if you want. Also, I use the flesh of my base of my thumb here, three fingers on the other side, and it flips right over onto the top. Flip out. You'll love it. It's easy to do. And just takes time and figure out where it's best for you to release those cards and how it is best to release the cards. And you'll see, you'll flip them out. Flip out. So to get the card to the top of the deck is quite simple. To have them place the card into the deck anywhere. Now as you square the deck, square that card into the deck, I'm going to apply pressure to this one corner with my first finger, the Jerry Andrus move and square that card into the deck, you'll see it comes down and in there. I kick it over to where it's now coming out the back. I clip it with my little finger and third finger, and I rock it out and back onto the top of the deck. 
It's quite simple and happens very quickly as you're moving your hands around, you square this in there, point to the deck, make a movement, the bigger movement hides the smaller movement, that card is on top of the deck, ready to be flipped out.